Good afternoon, builders. So we are finally going into another week's worth of banners as well as a new event. So with this new event comes new mobile suits. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So this new banner is called the Sokai Festival, and it is going to be featuring the Quebla, which I'm not really too into. And I did make a mistake on one of my previous videos where I said the funnels come out the shoulders. I was wrong. It comes out the butt flap. Uh, I really don't know too much about the Quebla. I've seen it, you know, in the Zeta series, but that was kind of some time ago. And uh, yeah, I definitely made the mistake on that. And it's also going to be featuring one of my favorite mobile suits to date is the Zeta Gundam. So let's check out exactly if this banner is going to be worth your Haro chip. So we'll take a look at the head first of the uh, the Zeta Gundam. I'm not going to try and linger too long because, um, you know, I, I, I don't really want this video to be like 20 minutes. Uh, but let's take a look at the stats first, actually. Uh, I think the stats are pretty good, especially the shot attack. I think the shot attack is fantastic for the head of this mobile suit. Um, but let's see what the AX skill is. Head mounted Vulcans. So D minus piercing. Uh, power is going to be D. First time 5 seconds, 19 seconds after. Fire the Vulcans in your head at, at foes straight ahead. You can move freely while shooting. Lower hit, gun plus, melee, and shot defenses by 14%. So these debuffs are actually pretty good, but I think if you're if you're really focused on a shooting like a long range, even like a mid range or a, uh, a melee type oriented suit, these debuffs are kind of odd. Uh, I would prefer to have these on maybe a complete support suit on my team, vice my actual main suit. But if this is something that you do have and you really don't have an, a, a third ex ability to throw in your mobile suit, it's really going to do fine. You just go ahead and you know tackle into the enemy, use those Vulcans when you're close range and then start whopping them. And the word tags is going to be Transformer and Gundam type. So Transformer is okay. Uh, obviously, this mobile suit is not going into its wave, uh, wave rider mode. But Gundam type is actually a pretty decent tag. So I actually uh, appreciate that. But for Transformer, I mean, raises shot defense 10% while active. This really is not going to be too much of a defensive mobile suit, but I can see it being a long or even mid-range mobile suit. So if you're always going to be at a distance, you're probably going to want some shot attack if you're going against a uh, you know another mid or long-range shooter. And looking at the body, the stats are pretty good for the body. The Hyper Beam Saber, which is going to be its EX skill, uh, it's going to be a D piercing. Power is going to be A. First time is going to be 20 seconds, so it's going to be a long, long cooldown. Uh, slay your foes with a single strike, powered by your bio sensor. Raise melee attack of your squad by 24%. So this is kind of like the Trans Am raid, uh, because obviously the Zeta does have a enhanced mode, kind of like a hyper mode. Uh, but raises melee attack of your squad by 24%. That's actually pretty good. Um, I can see this. I don't think this is actually uh, going to be able to you know be utilized alongside the Trans Am mode because this is somewhat in my in my mind. It's somewhat of an awakening mode, but at the same time, it's from an EX skill. So I think what you possibly could do is stack both the uh, Trans Am Raid and the Hyper Beam Saber together. Uh, me personally, though, like it's it's a good it's a good it's a really good EX skill. Don't get me wrong, um, but I'm probably still just partial to the uh, the Trans Am the you know Trans Am Raid ability. So. If you really want this, I think it's going to be pretty good for your mobile suit. Uh, I would definitely be curious to see if I can stack both Trans Am Raid and this one together. But usually by the time you finish your Trans Am Raid, the battle's probably already over. So not really, there's no use to stack it unless you're just going through mission mode. And for the arms, the arms have an okay melee attack. Uh, defenses are actually really good for a set of arms. Uh, but looking at the EX skill, arm mounted grenade launcher, so this is going to be a piercing D, power B, uh, magazine of 7, and obviously you can start using it pretty much as soon as you get into the battle. But launch grenades from your form, and you can move while firing it. So that's actually a really good EX skill. It's much like the uh, the shields on like some of the other mobile suits that have the, the launchers, like the rocket launchers, or even grenade launchers on them. So if you really just want an EX skill that you can just fire off immediately, this is going to be pretty good. And its stats aren't bad whatsoever. Um, it's kind of like looking way more like a, um, a mixed attacker. Because I see a lot of good shot, but also am seeing good uh, melee right here. So this could be a really good mixed attacker slash shooter mobile suit. And now for the legs, we are going to have some okay uh, defenses. Uh, obviously, you know, for the legs, you generally don't have any like amazing shot or uh, melee attack. So the defenses, I think, are, are fairly good. But man, why do we have to have another EX skill? That's This is too many EX skills on one mobile suit. But uh, Saber Boomerang, so it's a B melee, D piercing, power of B minus. Six second cooldown on the first time, 20, 21 seconds after. Slash with your Saber, then uh, hurl it point first. 
Oh, okay, so you just throw. Okay, so you just throw a saber. Slasher saber. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like a normal animation. It's not like a finishing move type animation, but eh, definitely skip. And we're looking at the backpack. These stats, once again, are pretty much similar to the legs. Uh, then we look at finally its first trait, which. When attacking with beam, shooting power boosted 30%. So, I mean, this is really good. You just get a beam power weapon, um, well, a beam power shooting weapon. Uh, although it does say when attacking with beam, so beam can just be beam saber. That's actually pretty damn good. Um, so, yeah, if you have a beam saber uh, and you're attacking, it kind of doesn't make any sense when, when it says like shooting power boosted 30% because obviously for a beam saber, it might not be applicable. But it just says when attacking with beam. So obviously if you're using a beam powered rifle, that's when this is going to get boosted by 30%, which is amazing. That's a, that's a, that's a huge, huge boost in uh, your actual shooting power. And now for the beam saber. So just a regular beam saber. Uh, the melee attack is actually pretty damn good on this. Um, you got cross wave. You got just D piercing power is going to be B. First time is going to be six seconds, which is really good. Uh, slash to create shockwaves that cleave through enemies. So that's probably just a normal animation attack, uh, something that you can actually get canceled out of. And here is going to be the long beam saber. So uh, this is definitely what I predicted is that the long beam saber was going to be the actual like bayonet type beam that comes out of the rifle. Uh, but once again, stats are, are you know I think almost the same, or if not is the same as the beam saber uh, previously. So parts traits with speed attribute self melee damage output boosted by 35. So that's okay. Um, this is obviously melee damage output. This is each individual attack. So this 35 is just going to keep stacking with each individual attack that you do with a melee attack. And that's why I think it's really good to get some of these damage output output buffs because they're set damages. They're not um, tethered into the defenses and everything. So I think that's really damn good. And now for the beam rifle. So it's once again really good stats. Um, overall, like these. These default four stars usually have some pretty solid stats. If not, it's going to be matching a lot of other mobile suits that kind of uh, came before it when it came, you know, when it comes to default four stars. Uh, but parts traits, so special shot damage output boosted by 35. Um, it's good. I mean, your special shots is whenever you like long hold the button. So this is going to be that just like long blast. Um, I think it's okay, but yeah, definitely not. It's not the kind of traits I usually look for. And now we have the Hyper Mega Launcher. So this is actually one of my favorite weapons in the Zeta universe. Uh, well, the Zeta time arc. Uh, so this is really cool. Good stats. Uh, pretty much similar as the Beam Rifle. With speed attribute self, enemy shooting power reduced by 30%. Unfortunately, that's not, that's not the best trait. This is a very defender type trait. And that's not the kind of style I want with this mobile suit. I want to be, you know, fairly mid-shooter. And this just, I mean, it's... It's good because it's going to protect me from other shooters, but at the same time, you know, I just I want more damage output or I want uh, faster cooldowns. Those are things that you're really going to want. But getting like doing like passive debuffs, mm, it's okay. But when it's debuffs to the enemy's attack, I don't think it's that great. I'd rather a passive debuff that is uh, their defenses. I think that's way way better. And the last Zeta item is going to be the Zeta Shield. So really solid uh, defenses altogether. Obviously not going to get any melee attack or shot uh, shot attack. But missile launcher. So it's much like we saw earlier with the arms. So shoot forearm, uh, shoot firearm stored in your shield. You can move while firing. So for, you know basically start immediately launching it. Uh, you got seven shots. Power is going to be C. Physical shots. They're not bad. This is a really good uh, shield and probably one one of the better shields. If not the best shield, because the X Divider, although the uh, Harmonica attack is really good, there's a cooldown. You gotta wait for that cooldown to uh, hit its initial mark, then use it, and it's pretty damn long. This is like immediately seven, just seven rounds as soon as the battle starts, and this is a very, very good shield. So um, this is something I'm definitely going to be hoping I can get. Now for the Quebly, um, I, I really don't like this mobile suit. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just it doesn't look good to me. Like maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just the head design. The legs are okay, but man, most of the mobile suit I think just does not look good. I do like the Quebec Damned from the uh, Diver series, but yeah, this one just does not look good. So we'll take a look at the head first. And we're going to have some immense shot attack. That is immense. Uh, so recovery tool Y, you're going to have 48% uh, recovery. Um, cooldown, yeah, that's pretty good. Seven seconds, yeah. That's probably like, actually the best recovery in the game thus far. Because uh, most of the previous ones are like about 34, 38 percent, 
But yeah, 48% recovery, that's your that's basically half your health. That's actually pretty damn good. Now with the body, we are gonna have really good melee defenses. Uh, so we look over here at the parse rate, middle job, uh, middle shooter job, buff EX skill effect up 22%. That's pretty damn good. So if you do have an EX uh, skill effect, uh, well, it's buff EX skill effect. So I I have to go and look. Uh, let, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So there are buffs that you can do. Um, so like the sumo head. The sumo head is just a normal buff. I think this is what it's referring to. So being an extra 22% on top of what? Like I think uh, the sumo head is giving me like 30% like uh, attack buff. So if I had this body alongside the sumo head, you know, I, you know, I wouldn't really do that because obviously it's uh, this is a middle shooter job. But if you have an ability that increases just a stat period and it's a buff, then that's going to increase it. But I think the EX skill attacks with a secondary effect. I don't know if that's what this is referring to, or it could be both. So it's definitely something I wanted. Uh, I would like to know from y'all, and I'm gonna go ahead and research my own as well. And now we're looking at the arm, so you are gonna have a pretty decent melee attack. I think it's. You really get more in that in that defensive um, kind of stat, but for the melee attack, it's okay for what it is. Uh, now let's take a look at the EX skill, Beam Gun. So it's a beam shot, piercing is going to be A, power is D, so you got 11 magazines. It's going to be pretty much like the shield and the uh, the arms from the Zeta, but launch rapid fire beams from your form. You can move while firing. That is actually way better, because you're getting more you get more within a magazine. Um, you, it's beam, so it's you know definitely... This is really, really good. So the piercing is going to be A. That's definitely higher than what the uh, the Zeta shield and the arms were. Um, I think those were actually falling under power and not piercing. But yeah, this is actually super damn good for some uh, for EX arms. I mean, it's definitely not going to be better than I think a lot of the uh, the finisher type stuff or even like the ones that have like a basic animation. But if you really want something that's going to be pretty damn powerful, I mean, 11, 11 magazines, or I guess 11 rounds uh, for the beam, that, that's actually really damn good. Now we're taking a look at the legs. Obviously, you're going to have more in that melee defense. Uh, middle job, or I keep on saying middle job, middle shooter job, mid shot attack raised 20%. That's actually pretty damn good. Uh, so you have to be in a certain range to actually utilize that. But uh, if you get within that range, then hey, you definitely get that buff. So you don't want to be too far. You, you, know, you got to look at your cursor. Uh, if you go into the actual uh, settings, it should be like a, like not a tutorial, but they kind of like show you every single thing that is related to this game. And they show you the cursors. So like, hey, which one is like long, mid, and uh, close range? So just make sure you know that, know your cursor, and then uh, whenever you do these uh, type of attacks, you'll get that buff. And lastly, it's going to be the backpack. So this one is actually going to have the butt flap. Um, yeah, melee defense, once again, is pretty damn high. Uh, you know, the stats overall aren't too bad, but this is definitely more of a tanky kind of mobile suit when it comes to melee. Uh, but launch funnels to repeatedly strike foes in all directions. You can move freely while this is active. So piercing is going to be A+, power is going to be D. Cooldown immediately is going to be 6 seconds. So pretty damn good. Um, a lot of people just, like trying to say they, they want to combine it with other funnels like the Rose Gundam or the New Gundam. The thing is you can't do that because it will cancel out the other one. So if you if you did the New Gundam and you try to do this one, it's going to cancel out the New Gundam's funnels. Now if you want to do it like, hey, do the new, new funnels first, afterwards, then send this one out. Then after this one completes, then send out the Rose funnels. You could do that. But just constantly singing, sending out funnels, I, I can't imagine that the battle is going to be in your favor because funnels they do some decent damage but they're not doing enough damage to stop the enemy from coming at you especially if they're doing uh like heavy melee oriented damage okay so now for our ai event we are going to have bernard wiseman he is from 0080 um i'm i'm not too fond of his character i don't i don't really know too much about him uh, as, as a character uh but i mean looking at his stats pretty pretty decent like like basic balance stats so when armor six percent uh six percent or less Ooh, recover 10 armor gradually. That's pretty good if you're a defense type mobile suit. Uh, I can definitely see this kind of going um, towards that. Well, it's he's an end fighter. He's an end fighter, but it's odd. His attribute is technique. A technique end fighter without any good melee attack. Hmm. High mobility and Zaku type. I just I don't see this guy being that great. Um. Yeah, I, I, in, in fighters just not in fighter already is like one of the I don't want to say the worst, but it's, it's definitely not the best um, pilot license to use. 
that part trade is really damn good though. Um, but being a technique as well, that's just, it's very odd. So this is definitely a support type AI. Um, so I, I would definitely, if I do pick it up, I would like to, you know, test them out with some other mobile suits I have in mind. But for the most part, eh, this is probably a skip. Now you got my boy Nicole. So he's over here uh, from the Gundam Seed era. Obviously, he's the one that pilots the Blitz. Uh, looking really good. You got a support type, which is good. Attribute's going to be speed. Parts traits with speed attribute. EX skill piercing boosted 22%. Oh my god. That's really damn good. Um, I would really like to have that trait on something that um, doesn't really have much of, of piercing in the first place. Like something that has like super high power, like an A in power, but like a D in piercing. Put that on there. Boy, you're doing some pretty, you, you're doing like halfway average decent uh, piercing damage. On top of that, you're delivering immense power. So this is definitely a really good pilot. And I, I would honestly say try and go and get it. So for the important question, should you summon on this banner? I would say the Zeta to me, this is a personal opinion, the Zeta is worth it. At least some parts. I would say namely the head because of that immense uh, shot attack. I would also say the body because it, it is going to have a really good buff from that EX uh, attack. Maybe the shield. The shield is really good. I would say the weapons are pretty much a pass. Uh, you know, you don't really need the beam saber, the long beam saber, the beam rifle. I think those are fairly sub-average uh, weapons. And I think just the Gundam uh, beam rifle, even the news beam rifle, I think are really good weapons. Um, or if you want, you know, definitely get Dynamis' uh, long rifle. But yeah, I would just really, I would say focus on that shield, focus on the body and the head of the Zeta. Everything else is kind of like, if you get it, pretty cool. Um, but this is really only worth it if you want that multiplier for the event, which we're going to cover, uh, or if you just really like one of the two mobile suits. But I would say definitely try and pull for at least uh, maybe the Zeta head, body, or shield. Now for the AIs, I would say Bernard's really not looking that tight, uh, but Nicole, he is, uh, I think he's really good. I think his skill, his, his trait, is actually something that's going to be very beneficial to not only the Blitz, but to in many mobile suits that are lacking in the piercing department. So if you want that pierce increase, definitely go for Nicole. But yeah, that's kind of like my take on this. Uh, these two banners. Now before I go, I do have a couple of things. So one thing I really, I actually didn't know this. Um, I was kind of wondering why I had this. So if you go to standard Gunpla Parts Capsule 2, um, if whenever a new event happens, uh, let's say even if it was like, you know, the past 24 hours, you opened up your free capsule for uh, Capsule 2, it automatically resets to where you can open up another free capsule as soon as this event drops because the uh, the mobile suits change within the Capsule 2. So they just give you another chance to, uh, to open it. And I actually got, I got my fourth Barbados Mace. So my Barbados Mace is actually pretty damn high from a free drop. I do these free drops as soon as they uh, they are like uh, available. So I usually time it around 10 a.m. in the morning. So I did open it up this morning, got the Mace, and then uh, come 12 for me, I saw, I, I just kind of going through the capsules and I saw, I was like, oh wait, I got a, a free one. So I didn't know this. Definitely go and uh, check out your free capsule um from uh, Standard Gunpla Capsule 2. However, the, the original Standard uh, Gundam Capsule does not allow you a secondary free pull. So it does suck, but it is what it is. And for those who may care, the Haro is now within the friend drop uh, rate. So if you really want a Haro, cool, go get that. Uh, but other than that, hey, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, right above me, the new type. Um, it's a really good website if you really want some good mobile suits if you if you just want to start collecting gunpla or if you've been looking for a good online shop for gunpla check out newtypehq.com use that promo code krosama so that way you can get 10 percent off um i mean if you're playing this game you're probably somewhat into gundam and if you haven't took that dive to uh, actually build some gunpla guys you're missing out i actually i have one thing i want to show you so I build Gundams, you know, if you're on this channel, you probably know I build Gundams, uh, but I actually just semi-finished the Sinanju Stein, so I uh, painted this one, this is completely painted, uh, I do have a lot of work I still need to do to it, so I'm doing some uh, weathering, uh, but for the most part, it's a now completed 100% painted kit, uh, it's, it looks good, it has some issues, uh, in my opinion, when it comes to like my paint job, a couple of things I really need to tweak when it comes to using my airbrush. So I need to just kind of adjust the PSI 
uh, a little bit. But for the most part, it looks really damn good. I've always loved the Sinanju, and uh, the Sinanju Stein was amazing. I got the Master Grade, but getting the Sinanju Stein narrative with the sleeves, this just made me have a, a much higher appreciation for uh, this mobile suit. And I really do wish it would come to uh, to this game. But yeah, so I just got I got to paint the thrusters. I got a couple of other things I need to do to this. But um, yeah, hey, build some models, man. It's really fun. It's a really, really good gig. Um, put you right here. But that's all from me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, trust me, I, it really goes a long way, and I really do appreciate it. And there's people out there that um, you know I, I talk to all, all the time or that are in my Discord, and they really support me. And you know, to those people, I do say thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, I probably would have never came this far in my YouTube uh, career if it wasn't for the support of all my fans, my family, and my friends. Uh, but thank all of you so much, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.